what's up youtube this is shabazz and i'm back with another cbd hemp flower review what's up to my can of sewers hope you're staying healthy hope you're staying safe welcome back to another video make sure you check out the merch i got a new hemp related face mask link down in the description today we have a new vendor to the channel that made quite a buzz on reddit even a little bit of scandal until recently this was a pretty unknown company but they're out of colorado i'm talking about diesel hemp now for all intents and purposes Diesel Hemp isn't a real company. Diesel Hemp is just kind of like the retail front for the company Colorado CBD Seeds. Anyways though, Diesel Hemp specializes in Abacus Diesel and other crosses like Cherry Abacus. Now, although they claim to be the sole source of Abacus Diesel, Abacus 2.0 and all these other strains, it's not hard to find out that they're not. There's lots of people growing Abacus, Abacus 2.0, but that's neither here nor there. We're here to check out the flower. There was also a little bit of scandal about this company on Reddit with some less than legitimate users posting the most positive reviews possible. But that's neither here nor there. We're here to check out the flower. And what I have here today is an eighth of the Abacus Diesel grown by Diesel Hemp, AKA Colorado CBD Seeds. And y'all know I love Abacus Diesel. I named it my best strain of 2020. Last year I got it from Hemp Hop and I got it from Texas Hemp Culture. It was easily some of the best hemp I've ever smoked. Super, super loud, that minty, cushy, good indoor marijuana smell that we all love and look for that's rare in hemp. It had that. Of course, that was indoor flower. From what I know, this isn't indoor, this is greenhouse. And diesel hemp doesn't even sell indoor flower. So I don't think that this is gonna be the same thing or the same quality as the Apicus diesel that I've tried here on the channel before. It's also worth noting, this did not come with any paperwork. It didn't come with any letter to law enforcement or no COAs. And the label doesn't say anything about percentages or anything. It just says it's less than 0.3% THC. So I have no idea how much CBD there is in this at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here. I'm gonna go look it up on the website. Hopefully they have it. All right, this is Abacus Diesel. This is a phenotype of Abacus, Abacus 2.0. It's sealed, let's crack this open. Let's let it breathe, let's let it breathe. I'll be honest with you though, I'm not getting that good Apicus diesel smell at all, that, that diesel smells. This just smells a lot like, I'm not even sure, you know, somebody on Reddit said that it smells like dog turds. And yes, it does have that dry dog poop smell to it. But I'm not getting any of that fresh, bright, loud diesel gas smell from this at all. This smells nothing like the Apicus diesel I've had before. There's no kind of loud smell. There's no cushy smell. There's no funk, there's no skunk. There's no dankness to this at all. It just kind of has a hempy smell mixed with some dog poop. That dog poop smell, when amplified and intensified and perfected, turns into that gassy diesel smell, but it's just not here. I don't know if I got an old batch. I don't know if this is bottom of the barrel, but I'm not getting any kind of abacus diesel essence whatsoever. Let's get it out onto a tray. All right, so flour looks pretty good. There's a lot of shake in this jar. This is an eighth and most of it is medium to small pieces. A lot of broken up from smaller buds uh, and it is a little bit dry. However, the bud structure does look good. It's relatively dense, very frosty. I see a little bit of purple peeking through on some of these buds. I'm just really disappointed that this doesn't smell anything like Apicus Diesel. This stuff was expensive too. Check that out. And that looked like it was a nice nug, but unfortunately it's all broken up. And like I said, that jar was sealed. I haven't gotten into it. I haven't taken anything apart, broken this down at all. It's just kind of all falling apart in the jar. It is a little bit dry, so maybe that's why. There's another little nug with more purple on it. So either I got a bad batch, or I got the bottom of the barrel, or the reviews that I've seen on Reddit and stuff are fake, because this does not have that loud gas. People are saying that this is like the best smelling stuff ever. Kind of like what they were saying last year, at the beginning of last year, when Hemp Hop and Texas Hemp Culture dropped Abacus Diesel. This is nothing like that which is unfortunate. Let me break this down and get it into the bowl. Will I do that? I'm gonna put a high resolution image here. All right, breaking this down, flour is really dry. Maybe that's why I'm not getting any smell. Maybe that's why it's so broken up. It's just really dry. No stickiness at all but I didn't find any seeds or anything. Let's get into it. <sighs> it 
Standard hemp taste. It's pretty smooth, not that bad. A little bit of throw burn to it, but it's mostly smooth. Okay, that second hit, a little bit more harsh. Still, I just kind of have a standard hemp taste. No cushy, diesel-y, gassy taste to it at all. Okay, that third hit got a lot more harsh. I now see that that first hit was only pretty smooth just because it was the first hit of the bowl. This is getting down, getting even more dry, it's getting more harsh. I think this flower is just really way too dry. I'm gonna give this one about a six and a half to a seven on the smoothness scale. It's not the harshest thing I've ever had. I really think that if this flower was fresher, more invigorated, it would definitely be more smooth. One last hit. All right, so that last fourth hit wasn't excruciatingly bad. It was about the same as the third hit. And I still got that same kind of standard hemp taste to it. Abacus Diesel generally has some very clear headed sativa dominant hybrid effects that I like. So that's what I'm expecting, but everything else has been different about this so far. I don't know what to expect now. So let me let it kick in. I'll come back and let you know how I feel. A few minutes later. All right, so definitely has the kind of effects I was expecting. The effects are actually not that bad. I'm getting kind of a nice hybrid effect. This is more hybrid right in the middle leaning than the Abacus Diesel I've had before, which is more on the sativa dominant side. This is right in the middle hybrid. I feel warm, I feel soft, I feel fuzzy. I feel a little bit of pressure behind my eyes. I feel the top of my head very numb and tingly. A little bit of pressure in my chest and a wee bit of sedation. Nothing crazy though, nothing that's making me feel lazy, but I do feel, I do feel a little bit more slowed down and relaxed. Now the effects on this aren't too bad. I think honestly the best thing so far about this particular flower is the effects. And these aren't super potent. This is a kind of strain that you could smoke and still carry on with your day, get things done. I would say this would be a good daytime, definitely evening time smoke, definitely something good before you eat dinner. And it's definitely, definitely a certified Netflix and chill strain. This is the perfect amount of potency and heaviness that you can sit down and relax and really enjoy a good movie or TV show. So yeah, I like these effects. This is pretty potent. It's definitely a little bit heavier than other Abacus Diesel I've tried. So the effects are a go. However, the price, price on this is pretty crazy. And I got this with a coupon. And with the coupon, it was like fair. It wasn't even good. The price on it, this is way overpriced. In my opinion, it is not worth what they're asking at all. They don't send a letter to law enforcement. That's just kind of irresponsible. That's dangerous for them and the consumer. And no COA, so you have no idea how strong it is without looking at the website, hopefully. I love Abacus Diesel, it's one of my favorite strains, but this one just, this one was just not up to par. And what's crazy is, I've also seen people talk about the other strains that Diesel Hemp has to offer, and also saying it's just the loudest, gassiest, most ridiculous smelling stuff they ever tried. I'm really questioning those statements now. Now, like I said, I might've got the bottom of the bag, a batch that got accidentally left out, a fluke, I don't know. I always give the company the benefit of the doubt. But still, the pricing, the lack of COA, the letter to law enforcement, and how dry this flower is, I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five stars. It looks good, it has potent effects, it's kind of harsh, it's really dry. And if it's supposed to be as loud as people say, there's definitely something wrong with the flower that I got. So there could be some quality control issues over there at Diesel Hemp. I don't know, man, I'm gonna have to look into this one a little bit further. But that's the review though, y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the merch, link down in the description, I got shirts, hoodies, masks, stickers, all CBD hemp related. Also check out my IG, which is here down in the description. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit me up in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload new content. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so much, and I sincerely hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Ha, 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 ha,